I think it might pass under the radar. I don't think anyone's going to cock me. No one's going to cock me. I'm not going to do that. Or do I? Or do I? <laughs> okay, so the jig is up. <laughs> so, I want to know, how much attention do we pay to what each other are reading? None. None. We're constantly on booktube, right? On book Twitter, tweeting out what rating we gave something. I want to know, do we actually care? Do we actually care what each other are posting? And the other day, I got alerted to something very sad. <laughs> Essentially, it looks like Goodreads isn't going to support posting to Twitter anymore. There's a button. Once you've rated a book, once you've finished it, there's a function to tweet out your rating. And like, if you've given a controversial rating, you always want to tweet it out so people can go, oh my god, why? And you can just sit there going, <laughs> But they're stopping doing that. And so that means I have to do this video now. Essentially, I want to do an experiment. I am going to rate some trash books five stars. And I'm going to see if anyone clocks me and be like, Megan, why are you rating those horrible books five stars? So every day this week is going to get progressively more obvious, going to get progressively more ridiculous. Currently Wednesday, so it's going to be four days. Four books. You will have four chances to call me out. We're going to start off tame today. So obviously I'm not reading these books. <laughs> like, I don't want to put myself through that. But some of them are going to be books I just know are going to be trash. And some are books that are sequels to things I've rated very low. So in a video I did earlier this year where I reread some of my childhood favourite paranormal romance, that is trash. I read The Beautiful Dead book one, Jonas by Eden Maguire. It was so bad. <laughs> do you see how that's incredibly offensive? Yes, I do. That's why I said it. This book, if I was reading this book when I was 11, I would give it five stars because I loved it. This book series was the start of my book influencer career, if you can call it that. I made everyone in my school read this book series. I was hyping it up. I was like, you guys, it's so good. And when I read it now, it's like one of the worst things I've ever read in my life. Today, I'm going to tweet out that I have given the sequel, Arizona, five stars. And we're just going to see if anyone calls me out. They can call me out on Goodreads. They can call me out on Twitter. And I'm just intrigued. I'm intrigued as to whether anyone will clock me or whether we just scroll past this kind of stuff. I feel like because this is not really a well-known book, you'd have to know that I read the first one and rated it one star. It's not a well-known series. Like, no one knows what the fuck this is. Like, I think it might pass under the radar. I don't think anyone's going to clock me. No one's going to clock me. What's that? What's Chandler's line when she's like, nobody clocked me? Where she's like, saying she looks like Jada Pinkett Smith. Nobody clocked me. They thought I was Jada Pinkett Smith up in there. Anyway, so let's do it, shall we? I need to mark it as currently reading. I'm not going to say any comments with it. I'm just going to rate it. So update progress. I'm finished. <laughs> I will take one of these off my Goodreads after this video comes out. And let's rate it five stars. <laughs> I hope no one, I hope no one picks up any of these books on my recommendations for during, before this video comes out. And click to tweet it out. Okay, so that's done. And now we wait and we see. I'm just gonna check that it has tweeted out. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much fun! <laughs> oh my god, someone's already liked it. Who's liked it? Please don't pick this book up because of me. Oh, I'm scared! <laughs> but for now... We wait and we we see. <laughs> okay, so it's now the evening. I feel really bad. <laughs> oh no! I mean, honestly, <laughs> the girl did it to her damn self. Okay, so I posted it on Twitter. I don't think on Goodreads anyone has reacted to it but on twitter we've had three responses oh god i can't even talk okay so carrie said what oh my god what a throwback i think i read most of this series steph oh my god steph i'm so sorry she said love this series wish i'd never got rid of it love a reread oh no and the worst one siobhan said i have these on my shelves with a smiley face on a heart <laughs> What am I 
doing? Like, if people just see me rating all these trash books five stars, and then they don't see this video, people are gonna, like, think something different of me. <laughs> but no one's called me out. So no one's realised yet. <laughs> Success! I feel like for the next one, I need to go with another, like, sequel to something that I've read before, but maybe a more well-known author. So maybe people will know that I didn't like it. This experiment isn't going the way I thought it would because I just feel very bad. <laughs> it's the next day. Well, it's the next night. Because I realised basically that my Twitter is the most active at night because that's when, like, America is awake. So I decided to post this at night. It's currently 9 o'clock. And I've been thinking to myself, right? I've been thinking, what can I, what, what book can I do? I know the end book. Like I know the last book of this video. And it's the ones in between that are a bit difficult because I want them to gradually step up. I don't know what tomorrow is gonna be yet. I don't know what is gonna be a step up from this. <laughs> but I feel like people are gonna call me out on this one. So I thought I would go with another sequel to a book I have already read and hated and given like one star. But I thought that I would go with something a bit more well known. So, I've decided to go with, what is it even called? Time of the Twins by Kendall and Kylie Jenner. So if you haven't seen, I have a reading vlog where I read the first in this series, Rebels, A City of Indra. And it's like the worst dystopian Hunger Games divergent ripoff. You don't even want to get into the whole backstory of this book. Like, they didn't write it. It's like this ghostwriter, but the ghostwriter's trash. Go watch that video, because it's like one of the funniest videos I've ever done, just because of how shambolic this whole operation is. But for some reason, they brought out a second book. Reason. What was the I reason? Just I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't need to explain myself to you. And what was the reason? But I think it was quite hushed up. They didn't do a lot of promo for the second book and I've literally just gone and looked and it's only got 94 ratings. That's not much. <laughs> I think quite a few people may know that I hated the first book but at the same time it looks very different to the first book like I'll put the picture in and it's written by someone different it's written by a different ghostwriter it could be feasible that it's better like it could be feasible that it's good all of a sudden okay I'm going to set it to currently reading five stars <laughs> I'm writing this five stars. See, like my my what I'm scared of is people seeing this and making assumptions about me when like I'm not rating this five stars. <laughs> and then let's tweet it out. Yeah, the tweet's up. Okay, so now we wait and we see whether anyone calls me out. <laughs> But how do I step up from this tomorrow? That is the hard thing. Maybe this should have been tomorrow's book. I, I feel like someone's gonna call me out for this one. People cannot believe I'm giving this five stars. Like, surely. Oh, it's already got a like. Oh my god, the same person who liked it yesterday has liked this. What if they're just, like, onto me, but not saying anything? Okay. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I like that laugh. I should have filmed myself last night in the middle of the night in the pitch black cackling at everything you guys were tweeting like oh my god <laughs> there was more of a response than I thought there would be <laughs> so first we had Mina saying this is the biggest plot twist of 2020 what even Riley said is this a cry for help blink twice <laughs> A lot of confused GIF faces. Emma said, are you okay in capital? <laughs> Val said, explain, please. <laughs> this is just so funny to me. Like, I take such joy <laughs> from, like, tricking everyone. <laughs> Just a lot of people being very shocked and not believing me. The point of this video was if you clocked like what video I was doing, like if you clocked the pattern, but you've definitely, I think, clocked that something's up. Maybe I peaked too soon. I've just made a massive mistake and now I'm easy. really annoyed. Maybe that should have been today's book because like, you're all shook. I thought, I didn't think people paid that much attention. This obviously proves that we all do pay attention to what each other are posting on Twitter and like Goodreads and what we're rating books. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. You're all so worried for me. <laughs> I need to come up with a book 
I, I still don't know what I'm going to post. What are some like really like known to be bad books? What I'm thinking of is books like Cape May and stuff like that, that have been ridiculed. I really don't want to rate that five stars. I don't want to do that. I don't want people to see that I've rated that five stars. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Or do I? Or do I? This basically got revealed that this author got paid like 600k or something for this book and people read it and it was hot trash. But I just object to him being paid 600k for it when it's like bad. So I, I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to rate that five stars. Maybe I should phone a friend. I'm going to message Emma and I'm going to, I'm going to bring her in on the loop as to what's happening. Hello? <laughs> I need your help with something. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? You know I, I posted last night that I rated Kendall and Kylie Jenner's book five stars. Yes. So basically I'm doing a video where every day I'm rating a trash book five stars and seeing if oh anyone God. notices. <laughs> but I need to come up with my book for today. I know my one for tomorrow, which is the last okay. one, and I want them to like escalate. Oh my god, I love it. So I I can't think of like what to rate. Like what's a book that like everyone knows is trash? That's hard. Isn't wow. it? <laughs> That's so funny. Literally when I saw the Kendall Jenner one, I was like, has Megan been kidnapped? Like, <laughs> what's happening? Because I literally thought that was like the book that I my first thought was Cape May, but I don't know if I want to do that to myself and like have people see oh, I've yeah. rated that five stars. <laughs> I feel like that's a good one though, because it could be believable because like it's not like a joke book. You know? Like, you know, like people think it's ridiculous, but it's like a legit book. <laughs> and people, I think, would believe that you actually thought that. Maybe. But like, what if someone sees that and then doesn't see the video and thinks in their head, I've genuinely rated that book five stars? <laughs> okay, what else could be? <laughs> this is such a funny idea. How many people commented to the Kendall Jenner one? Loads. Like, Riley was like, is this a cry for help? Blink twice. <laughs> Do I do Kate May? I think Kate May would be really funny. Because it's one like everyone's heard of. Shall I comment as well when you do it? Be like, Megan, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, do it. Do it. Okay, I'm gonna go tweet it out. Okay, cool. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Okay, so Emma thinks that I should rate Kate May five stars. <laughs> I've seen screenshots of this book. Like, I've seen when people have read it and it's so bad. <laughs> I can't do it. My heart is saying no. If you don't know about this book, if you hadn't heard about it, basically over the summer there was this hashtag called Publishing Paid Me, started by LL McKinney and it highlighted just how underpaid black female authors are, just how horrifically underpaid they are, and this guy waltzing in and getting 600k for this hor horrific book. So like, this book does carry some, it is associated with this with this awful thing, you know, that, that, that this white guy can waltz on in with his debut and get paid this amount of money, and then established black female authors are getting paid like minuscule amounts in comparison. So I would definitely recommend you go and and read up about that hashtag if you haven't heard about it before um, because it's definitely something that needs to be tackled uh, and I remember at the time loads of people read this because of that like loads and loads of people and everyone was posting about how bad it is so I'm gonna rate it five stars okay I've posted it <laughs> and now we wait and we see whether any of you would actually think that I would give that trash book five stars.
Okay, someone uh, just commented, this is for a video about messing with your subscribers. It has to be. <laughs> well. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay, so the jig is up. <laughs> So Mina, Mina, Mina tweeted, okay, I figured it out. Meg is trolling us for a new video. <sighs> <laughs> I feel like in Scooby-Doo and the villain has their mask taken off. Like I've been exposed. It's time to bring the curtain down on Mr. Wacky Pants' career. Validia Flanders. The gig is up. I've been found out. <laughs> To be fair, I have got a few comments on that going, this is the highest rating I've seen of this book by a long shot. I'm like, yeah, for a reason, because it's not real. <laughs> I think people know now that I'm like trolling. Like I think people have kind of figured it out, but I'm, th I'm still going to go through with the last day tomorrow. Like I'm still going to go through with it because I have not come all this way to not do the book that like was the first book in mind. I'm still going to do it, but Nina, I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kid. <laughs> well, let's, it'll be fun to see what everyone says tomorrow, but you have figured me out. Okay, so after I went to bed last night, even more of you spoiled my fun. <laughs> Molly said, why do I have a feeling Meg is doing a video on giving bad books five out of five stars to get people's reaction? Because I am. <laughs> but to be fair, Sarah did just put a disgusted face emoji. So she obviously thinks that this is serious and I I could possibly really think that. Have you unfollowed me, Sarah, because of this? Oh no, she still follows me. Okay. <laughs> I thought that would be an unfollowable offense if you seriously thought that I liked Cape May. So like, people know now. Like, people know. Like, everyone knows I'm doing this. But let's just have fun. Let's just do the last one. So I knew from the beginning that like the last book I needed to do because n I was there was no way I could give it five stars was Kissing the Coronavirus by MJ Edwards. Like it's, it's bad. <laughs> Basically, if you haven't heard, it's a romance book about kissing the coronavirus. Like I think the coronavirus mutates into a man and like she fucks him. So let's put it on my current <laughs> reading. Five stars. <laughs> This is like the villain in Scooby-Doo still trying to commit their crimes after they've been exposed. Like, it doesn't work. <laughs> and now we wait and we just see what everyone says. <laughs> okay, so I'm back and I'm so sorry. <laughs> One of you is just done with me. Like, you're just done with me. You've left. Some of you are asking me if I'm okay. Katie said that she can see why I gave it five stars. <laughs> Katie, are you okay? <laughs> Someone put a picture saying that they're gonna murder me. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I didn't give it five stars. Stop acting the victim. Waking out. I'm victim. picking on you because I'm not. And then a lot of you are just cottoning on to the fact that this is for a video. So this does show that we pay attention to what each other rate. You're not afraid to call me out on my bullshit when I'm giving you bullshit. <laughs> and it's actually going to be very sad when Goodreads no longer lets you post the thing on Twitter that it lets you post. I love seeing what my friends on Twitter have posted from what they rated on Goodreads because I feel like I never scroll through Goodreads whereas when it appears on Twitter it's a really nice moment <laughs> to see uh, when someone is rated like highly a new release or a book that a lot of people are talking about. I'm sorry for putting you all through that. Like I, I am. I am sorry for putting you all through that. Sorry if you trusted me at first. Sorry if your trust in me has been broken but thank you for participating in my experiment unknowingly. That's very unethical. Very unethical for you to participate in my experiment unknowingly. I think I learned that in science GCSE. So like, I think it is unethical. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched till the end, what emoji sums this up? Maybe the spyglass emoji? Cause like, I'm like, I'm like Scooby, Scooby and Shaggy. Shaggy. I'm solving a, solving mystery. a mystery. Yeah, leave the spyglass emoji if you've watched till the end. And yeah, I will see you very, very soon in another video. Bye.